has in it. So Allah tells us here, interesting, that وَكُنْتُ مَزْوَاجًا ثَلَاثًا And I'm going to bring out a few verses. And while you read to the Waqya, yeah, you probably remember these verses. Eh? وَكُنْتُ مَزْوَاجًا ثَلَاثًا What is Allah telling us? When the day of judgment comes, after all this Waqya, yeah, and this, this, this incident takes place of the earth, and everything coming to a flat with the day of judgment, Allah says there will be three categories of people. Uh-huh. وَكُنْتُ مَزْوَاجًا ثَلَاثَ What will be the three categories of people? You'll have people. You'll have people. وَالسَّابِقُونَ sabiqun. You'll have a group of people who will be the elite, the exalted. So much care. Not sleepers, you know. Not latecomers, you know. That doesn't go for those people. And I want you and I to understand this. We're talking a different spiritual level here. This is not the bare group of people who scrape through. They got to beg to come to masjid, beg to read Quran, beg to learn Quran. Beg. No, 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 no. This is a whole different category. Allah speaks about those people. For ashab al ma ashab al There'll be a category of people who will be on the right. And then he talks about was habul mashama tima as habul mashama, and there'll be a category of people who will be on the left. So interesting. And then there will be the category was sabiqun as sabiqun ulaikal muqarrabun. What does Allah say? Three categories of people: one on the right, one on the left, but the. People who will be the elite amongst the elite on the day of judgment, they will be what is called Ullaika al Muqarrabun. They'll be the closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We want to be amongst those people, not just on the right and the left. 